Hello. Hi, is this Sarah? Yes, it is. It's uh, Brian Hurricane Smith calling from Q107 in Calgary. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good, good. Uh, I got to start off. Um, when I told my <laughs> wife I was going to be talking with a young, good looking lady vampire, she understandably had some concerns. Oh, no. <laughs> Did she leave the room? <laughs> <laughs> she left for the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you play uh, Rebecca on the TV show Being Human, which is being shot in Montreal. And it is the uh, latest entry into the vampire genre. It revolves around a vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost. I know. Living in the same... That, that's almost the start of a joke, isn't it? I know. I know. I had, whenever I told anyone about the series, I had to be like, okay, so it's about a vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost who share an apartment together. What's the punchline? It's line? really, really good. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what, watch it. what were your first thoughts about the show when uh, when the part came to your attention? Um, I, I think it was just that I, I kind of groaned and rolled my eyes, but uh, I heard that it was a BBC series, and so I was curious to see what was going on because you know they, they seem to know what they're doing over there. Yeah, I, that, that's when you search the internet for being human, mm -hmm. the BBC series comes up. And, and that raises another question as well. Did you research Rebecca uh, by looking at, by watching the BBC show? When when I was called for the audition, um, so I, I was walking down the street in Toronto. I think I was going out for dinner or something and to a movie. I had all kinds of plans and my agent in Montreal called me and she was like, you've got to come to Montreal tomorrow for, for an audition. And I was a little, a little, well, peeved at that because I didn't want to. Well, yeah, you, movie yep, and dinner. You, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but uh, my friends were like, "No, you should go home. You should read this script. You should rent the the series, and you should watch it. And you should go to Montreal tomorrow and audition yeah. for this thing. It sounds pretty cool." Yeah. So so I listened to my friends. Thank God. And uh, yeah, I watched. I think like, two episodes of of uh, Being Human, the British version. Right just to get a sense of the character and uh, and was totally in love and wanted it really badly. Well, and that's so, the thing. Um, but that's all I watched, just those first two. That's when I got the, the part, the, I had to The stop. thing about the series, uh, Being Human, that's really attracted me is that, I mean, you have your teenage romanticized vampire uh, movie type thing going on, and then, mm -hmm. there's, then there's the traditional um, slasher vampire genre as well this program and being human is a lot deeper it runs a lot I deeper think than so. that um now with your character rebecca um uh, mm -hmm. every time she comes on the screen <laughs> something is about to happen she's I, what i call deliciously messed up tell yeah, me she tell, really is. tell me about rebecca um, well, uh, she, she was just a regular girl on a date with a really handsome guy. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, she was, you know, it turned into a vampire, uh, and well, actually left for dead by, by this guy and uh -huh. then turned into a vampire and then, you know, ha gets to confront this you know, guy that she had a big crush on about just leaving her on their first date or whatever. But, uh, for dead, um, and I think she's you know she she's she's really got the world turned upside down on her, and uh, she makes all these big choices. You know she's going to be the you know meanest, mm -hmm. most mm -hmm. awful vampire ever, and then that doesn't go very well. Right, and then she decides she's going to be good, and that doesn't work, and then she decides that she's going to you know uh, turn a dying boy into a vampire so that she can have a son. Yeah. Oh, if that doesn't work, <laughs> you know, like there's all kinds of, she she makes all kinds of big, big choices and they all kind of fail. And I think they all just make her feel worse and worse about herself. Shut over, babe. You shouldn't be here. Oh, hi. She's cute. What I miss. Mm. Well, I don't know. Well, let's see. You told your sad little story, right? Now, Aiden will tell you his, and you'll laugh, and he'll say something self-deprecating. Oh, oh, I don't want to ruin it for you. But let's get on with it already. Am I right? <laughs> he'll go back to your place. He's selfish that way. And then he'll give you some blah, blah, blah about Byron and his curse. Rebecca? Rebecca? Oh. I think she's got it. Leave. Oh, hold on. I want to see your face. 
face when she puts it together. Um, I really shouldn't have ditched my friends. So I think I'm, I'm just... We can help each other. I said we can help each other stay clean. Well, let's get dirty first. What does it look at? Okay, I already told you. No. You screw me, you kill me, you never call. You really know how to mess with a girl's self esteem. The cast looks like it has a lot of chemistry. Just watching the show, it just seems everything flows very effortlessly. There's a lot yeah. of chemistry we there. Yeah, um, well, the three leads, Sammy, Megan, and Sam, uh, they got along instantly and kind of set the tone for the, for the set, I think. They just invited every, all the regulars in um, with open arms and made us all feel really comfortable. And not only the cast, but, like, the crew, the directors, the producers, everyone involved in the network, everyone was so lovely and really open to any kind of creative suggestions it was i think it's been the best experience i've ever had on set oh that's nice that that's must yeah. be a relief for you oh yeah for sure it's great to just go in and be able to enjoy doing your job instead of being worried you know about uh, high school politics yeah you know? yeah exactly <laughs> everybody is yeah. concerned about doing a good job and creating a great product yeah and we're all just having so much fun doing it i think that the fact that the show is so is so great, uh, we could all really get behind it. Now with the and it, and yep. it just got picked up for a second season. Oh, awesome! That's good to hear. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm in love with the show, and I'm going, okay, I'm almost done this first season here. Yeah. You get more. <laughs> don't worry. Well, and, and that brings up another point. I mean, used to be that you know you say, okay, Canadian productions. Well. Pff, you kind of roll your eyes, and it was almost like it was a second-rate production, but not anymore. The production values in the show are, are amazing. I thought when I first saw the show that, you know, it should be on like an HBO or a showcase or, or something like that. It, you know, yeah. it, it, it can play anywhere. It, it looks awesome. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's incredible. The, the Montreal crew did a great job just making it look incredible with, like, you know, with, with with a regular Canadian budget, I have to add, um, uh, and the effects are incredible. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, it feels good. The show looks looks amazing, and that just goes to show like what you can pull off when you have people who are really dedicated to what they're doing. And and and, and I, I I believe that uh, a show starts with a great script. If without yes. the script, you don't really have anything. We were pretty blessed with incredible material. Are, are you using a lot of the material straight from the BBC series, or have you kind of massaged it? Uh, um, it... I, I believe for, like, it started off almost word for word, like yeah. episode one, and uh, has morphed into its own thing completely. It's a um, and it will just keep going in its own direction. Uh, the... the um, the I think the BBC series only had six episodes, and we already have thirteen. So that's a lot more hours, and yeah. to yeah. be able to get, you know, in depth with the characters and really explore the storyline. Excellent. Well, I, I I sure hope the series gets some attention. Uh, you know, south of the border. I mean, it is. It's on the Sci Fi Channel down there. But you know, it, with yeah. the, the Golden Globes, and you know, I mean, I think it's deserving of a lot of awards, mind you. You know, science fiction, fantasy, kind of vampire things might not be uh, you know on the radar of some of the some of the people in the book. Yeah, um like my my, <laughs> my dad uh, is not a sci-fi fan yeah. at all. Uh -huh. And when I told him what I was doing, he was like, <laughs> "Well, I guess I'm going to have been an to watch accountant. it." <laughs> yeah, and he watches every episode and is totally surprised and totally into it. He hasn't missed one. Even when I'm not on it, he he watches and writes me about how good it was. So I think uh, I think that's that's pretty indicative of, of like it's not just another sci-fi like uh, yeah you know, vampire weirdo show yeah, exactly it's it, it, really accessible Sarah all the best to you I think I think it's awesome this show I just love it and uh, your character if you, when you come on the screen I don't know what's gonna happen when your character yeah. shows up okay are are you an agent uh, Bishop 
or are you kind of doing your own thing or what's going on? So I think I think she she has she has decided to go off on her own. Basically, she has no place with Bishop. Yeah. She can't tolerate the you know, she doesn't really well, he, he's, he's got this this kingmaker thing going on, and I, I I'm kind of excited to see the next episode. Oh my god, the next episode! We actually just saw it last night for the first time. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, I was, gonna, I, there's all kinds of exciting stuff happens in it. I was reading the script. They, they uh, Anisha sent me the uh, the plot outlines, and it's a bit of a spoiler, but I I still want to see <laughs> the episode. I go, wow, holy cow! There's a lot that goes on. Yeah, yeah, um, and and the best thing is that. Like, it doesn't stop moving until the end of... There is such a great cliffhanger at the end now this, of, in this the last is, episode. This is episode what? 12? Or... This is coming up. This is, I think, episode 11. And you have how and many? And we got 12 and 13 to go. Okay, we got two more. <laughs> yeah, it just goes, like, it. it you, you can't imagine. Like, it, it just gets crazier and crazier. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's good yeah. to see. I love it. Love the convoluted plots. It's great. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah my, I, I had one friend of mine who... Uh, who watches the show as well, and she said she wants to see more skin. So uh, I had to pass that along. She said, you got to tell her that. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'll do what I can. Well, uh, she, well it, she wanted Aiden to take off his shirt more. So I, I I'm a guy. So... I don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate that so, so much, and good luck to you. Okay, you too. Uh, great. Thanks for interviewing me. I think it's great.